This is a, a template, it's not prescriptive in that there could be other steps along the way here, but it does give you an idea of the things you need to consider. From the very beginning to how does this customer determine they have a need for a particular product or service, all the way through to how do they start telling others about that product or service, okay? And actually those two parts on either side are probably the most important parts of, of the life cycle, okay? Because if you can't figure out how somebody determines they have a need and then find out about your product, and then if they're not telling others, there is a lost opportunity there. Certainly at the end, and definitely at the beginning. If they don't find your option, then they're not gonna buy it, and nothing else happens. So you can see some of the steps here. Determine need and catalyst to action. They find out about their options, they analyze their options, they acquire your product, they install it, they get value, they pay for it, and they buy more, which is great. They can do that, and then they tell others as well about it. All right? So as they, it gives you some of the steps, but it's not exhaustive. There might be other things along the way you can do as well. All right? So as an example of a more fully specified use case, we have this one here from um, a company called GearUp. So I don't think you saw this last week, but GearUp is essentially a bit like um, Airbnb for ski equipment or for snowboarding equipment. All right? So the main premise is that you have these young active professionals, they want to go on skiing holidays or winter holidays or snowboarding holidays, but they hate the hassle of trying to bring their skiing gear with them to the, to the ski resort. And it costs, and it's, so there, there's hassle, and then there's also costs involved as well. So the main premise of this platform is that um, they will basically deliver it to wherever you're going to, okay? And they will be in your perfect size and it'll, 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 it'll suit your, your particular trip. And they expect out quite a detailed use case, and in fact, I won't go through here, but I have a, a full description of, of the use case, which is one, two, three, three pages of text which describes this end-to-end -end process. Okay, so they really taught about it, and this is before they even built the product, they really taught about how that would work. From the very beginning in terms of how the person determines a need, how do they find out about the product, all the way through to telling friends, which I mentioned is, is, is quite important in resubscribing, okay? So the need is, it's difficult to lug the gear on trips, to you know pay for the extra um, travel costs, and then you've got to go through the, the large size luggage area and so on, and that prevents these people from getting outdoors. How did they find out about it? Through word of mouth, through social media, through event sponsorship, their plan was to um, run events at um, mountaineering clubs and uh, ski clubs and at resorts and uh, different beer festivals and so on, they would basically sponsor events and those things. How does a person evaluate um, how it is compared to the existing options? Is it cheaper? Is there good products there? Um, and then how do they actually buy the product? So how do they subscribe to the service? Do they book online? How do they become a member? What's the subscription model? Subscription model? Do they just pay a one-off fee or do they pay a monthly fee? Um, and you know, discounts and so on, which you'll be familiar with. The first time setup is an important aspect of this because if you're buying ski boots, you want to be able to make sure that you keep giving the right size of ski boots to the person. So there's a kind of one time setup where they specify their, their shoe size, and then every time you go on your trips, you'll keep getting the right size boots. Um, so using Explorer, they, they, they talk about how they would just make it very efficient in terms of delivering the product. Um, in the beginning, they may even deliver you one or two products which are close to what you need, and then you can ship back the, the extra one along with the, old, the, the other ones you are using. What's the gains? Um, better selection, better quality, is easier and cheaper than what you're getting already. Um, paying is all online using some kind of service like Stripe or PayPal. And then resubscribing, telling friends, how do you implement, implement some kind of a master program where you're telling other people about your product and they're getting some kind of discount 